Hello everybody. Welcome to the video session. In this video, we are going to discuss about the structured programming, C programming basics, and also uh, some simple examples, not with the full skeleton of the program, only to the uh, statement level. We will be discussing some examples and uh, port input and output operations. And we are going to start with a simple program with a Keel compiler. And also, I will just mention about the role of programmer, like what we supposed to do and where we supposed to work, and how to transform the code from the microcontroller, uh, you know, from the programming environment to the microcontroller. First, let us commence with the basic concept in any programming language. If you look at when we develop the program, we may need of storing some values. Like if you develop a program for a temperature control system, we need to save the current temperature value and also the set value. That means uh, we need to have a place to store some values. Okay, such things are called as a variables. And uh, we have generally two types of variables. It's called as a global and local variable. Um, as the prerequisite for this course, like you may be aware of a bit of C programming. If not, the basic things you have to go through about some uh, C programming course. Okay, the local variable, the one which is accessed from a function. That means we develop the C program as a, all of them as a functions. The local variable has a scope within a function only. Whereas global variable, even if you have written many functions, you can access that variable through any one of the functions okay basically the purpose of variable to have in our program as i mentioned earlier the value is going to change it means we are going to have a temporary variable no i want to have something as a permanent value that means we have to declare as a constant if you look at like uh, some kind of uh, sine term or cosine term and all uh, if you want to store it permanently that can be saved in our ROM. As you are aware, in our previous uh, sessions, I just discussed about the minimum availability of RAM in our microcontroller. So you must take care while declaring or while uh, you know reserving the variable names. You must use proper data types also, which I will talk in upcoming slide. Now, how to start with the variable naming? If you look at, it's a again a standard procedure in a C language. We have to use alphabet characters and digits and also the underscore is allowed. No space is allowed. And of course, the first character should not start with the digit. That means you have to start with only alphabets. Of course, it's allowed with the start with the underscore. And since C is a case sensitive language, you can't use uh, or you can't treat the small letter words as a capital letter words. Both are different. Okay. And of course, these are the keywords. Uh, of course, uh, when we develop the program, we will uh, we'll use these keywords. You can't use any one of these keywords as a variable name. It's also not allowed. Okay. See, these are the standard keyword which is available in our C language. Okay. Apart from that, to program the 8051 microcontroller, um, some compiler, you know, or we can say it's based on the compilers, there will be some um, language extension, that means some other extra um, keywords will be there, okay, uh, which is especially meant for the microcontroller programming, let us say in other words, okay, like uh, ROM and interrupt, ASM, means like assembly language, things like that. Uh, these are the keywords again you can keep in your mind uh, whenever time comes i'll just explain about these keywords and the language extensions again a simple one is about comment line when you develop the embedded program it's better to always write a good comment like the type of input which you are doing and the sensor where you connect things like that it can be commented okay so that when you come back and even read yourself the code you will be in a position to understand the code the various data type which we have to declare or which we are using in our C language 
you can see here the first one is character the character it occupies 8 bits in the memory in other words 1 byte again when you say only care it denotes with the sign that means minus 128 to plus 127 because 0 is included on the positive range and when you want to declare un unsigned care we have to use 0 to 255 for example if you want to declare a variable to uh, you know to store some positive values only like number of items or number of uh, uh, count or something like that which you need to have only positive okay then you have to use unsigned character then you will get a range of almost double of the normal character size and especially when we uh, when we declare a variable in uh, c language we have to be very careful as every declaration is going to eat up some memory from ram so we have to be very careful for the variable declaration and we must also choose proper uh, data types since mostly we will be dealing with uh, character i will tell you the reason uh, most of our bi you know bits uh, port bit is going to be only 8 bits since the character data type it is going to shoot very much with that we are going to use only the bit data type okay and we may need to use this integer and other data types in a few places or i can say even uh, some program we may not use it at all you know so you need to know about the ranges as is must as our even our it's uh, sorry as it is important in our c language programs as well okay apart from that as it is supported by other c language compilers we have like array pointers structures union and functions also available in our embedded c so there is an example for a variable declaration like i say int count that means the integer variable declared with the variable name called count and i have say like char with the option and again i say declaring and initializing some value like integer sum equals 0 or i say character option 1 equals yes something like this okay the next basic thing which you need to aware of this preprocessor directives most widely used one i can say like hash include and hash define these two we will we will be using as much as in our programming as the first line is going to start with the hash include okay remaining things we'll discuss it during our uh, you know practical sessions punctuations of course uh, uh, there is a lot of uh, punctuations we use in our uh, c language uh, that is also same with the embedded c programming also like a semicolon c program statement has to be terminated with the semicolons okay so i just write like a port 1 equals 0xff so i just terminate with the semicolon and we use commas like uh, if you want to declare a multiple uh, variable names you can see here character is a data type it's a keyword and these are the variable names like status option final value these are this is separated by a comma and it is terminated by end of statement that means as semicolon of course whenever we use a, a character data type uh, this character denotes is only single letter okay so it has to be assigned with the help of apostrophe okay, you can see here is a single quotes okay and when you want to assign a string into a variable you have to use a double quotes here okay so and the braces as most of you are aware like uh, even the main uh, c function start with a bracket that means the braces are important and curly parenthesis we can say in other words here and the brackets the square bracket we used exclusively on array declaration array manipulation and the parenthesis we use it for a function of course for calling or passing the arguments and all we use it and also to give a um, 
in a preference in a expression also we can use a parenthesis that must be a round bracket the various operator which we are going to use it is as good as our normal c program as you can see here we have the operators all of them like arithmetic operations and also we have a kind of uh, increment and decrement operators is all our standard c language operations okay and of course we have a relational operator and also the logical operator bitwise and assignment operators just look at here one example for bitwise operator is a very important operator in embedded world the reason is um, in a port maybe you connect eight leds and you want to turn on a specific led and or you want to turn off a specific led then we have to go for bitwise operations this symbol denote for and is a bitwise and and bitwise or and bitwise exclusive or okay so in a c program when you suffix a value with 0x that means it is hexadecimal okay so 0x 55 when you write in a binary 0101 and here 0101 and you have another value 01 and we take these two values in binary and do bit wise each bit one with one one and operation and here 0 0 0 and you can see all zero okay this is called as a bit wise and operation and this result is going to be you know either assigned to the port or things like that okay and 0x specifies as a hexadecimal number and you can see here one example like in a port t let us say sorry is a port 1 there is a led which is connected in bit 7 and you don't want to alter other bits you want to only turn on this particular bit that means port 1 equals is r operation bit wise r with 80 8 means one here rest of the bits all zero it will take the content of port 1 the existing content of port 1 and do r operation and then assign the resultant value back to port 1 and of course we can write in a short form the assignment operator p1 r equals 80 this also does the same job okay i'm sorry for this errors it must be uh, port 1 and one more thing uh, uh, important aspect in embedded c programming is about the special data types as we learned in our previous uh, video there is a bit addressable locations that means uh, each and every bit where you want to treat it as a signals like a flags uh, mm -hmm. we say as a bit, you know bit addressable locations in our 8050 controller our c compiler should support this bit addressable in terms of uh, program development you can see here we just say as a bit sensor on equals 0 the compiler will automatically assign this variable name as one of our bit address for location position so it will just have a zero or one and this is a very handy tool whenever you want to uh, you know identify some uh, signals or you want to check some flags or you want to pin something which has to be used something like that okay and even like you you want to check the motor is on or not yes, it can be done with the bit address for location okay this really helps us a lot in our program development we'll continue with the next video from sbit and sfr